Good afternoon. Uh, this is Steve Sessions, uh, CEO of the Sessions Group, and I've got with me Mark Sisselman, who is an absolute expert on how to make money from an owner's perspective from your rooftops. And so, Mark, I'd like to uh, welcome you, and I'm thanks for taking Thank the time to uh, visit. So, tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, and uh, how you can make uh, the owners money. We do telecommunications, real estate, and telecommunication companies are always looking for good sites from an RF or radio frequency perspective to place their equipment. And they pay landlords money to use the rooftop or parking lots to place their equipment. So how much money can an owner expect to, uh, to, uh, to make on a, uh, off of their roof? A good example, we represent 1801 California. In downtown Denver, they have made as much as $600,000 a year off their rooftop. You cap that out, that becomes a very large number. Landlords can make whatever we can attract to the property. We've done deals at $75 a month. We've done deals at $5,000 a month. Well, we want to do the $5,000 a month. We do, so I, I, I know you do. It all is predicated on who we can attract to the roof. The location of where your property is, uh, real estate is location, 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 so is telecommunications real estate, the exact same thing. So who are some of the entities out there, are, are, are there any entities that have been out of business? The larger payer ones are the, are the cell phone companies, AT&T, Wireless, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint. All those companies are out there are looking for additional locations because they are expanding their infrastructure. The demand for high speed 4G connectivity via your cell phone is very important to them. And so have you had a lot of, that have went out of business? In the cell phone companies, only one company has ever gone bankrupt and that's Cricket. In the other parts of the telecommunication industry, there have been a number of consolidations and a number of people that have gone out of business in the high-speed internet access world. So from an owner's perspective, what do they need to be aware of? If they're going to, if they're going to uh, try to make money off of their roof, just give them a few uh, tips that uh, might be helpful to them that they should be aware of. You should be aware of, one, trying to maximize the price from that particular specific industry within the telecom industry. So you try to get $75 from the local sheriff's department to place a repeater on your roof, but you wouldn't rent AT&T part of your roof for $75. And you have to be careful of the language that is incorporated in the body of the document. So is it, a, is it, what type of a document are we talking about? Is it a simple lease or what is the document? It starts with a lease. When you finish it up with me, it becomes a license agreement. Uh, a license is less of a hold on your property than a lease is. Interesting. Okay. So again, I think that uh, Mark's hit a couple of really good points here, and so I would encourage you to, uh, to if you have any uh, questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, uh, you know, make comment below and we'll get back to you. And, and again, we're here to provide information and to help you as an owner make money uh, on your real estate. Thanks so much.